Assalamu alaikum guys how are you i hope so you are fine and you are enjoying uh, vlsi course so let's start with introduction to vlsi and its future this is the first part of our topic and i am your uh, mentor or teacher or uh, friends that we will be discussing and learning together so welcome back again to my channel learn with fun by zara sir I have completed my BME LLB and currently I am an assistant professor in the country of India in the state Maharashtra and the city New Panvel. So uh, the name of the college is Anjuman Islam Kalsika Technical Campus. So, this is an introduction about me and let's start with the introduction to VLSI and its future. This is the first part of our course of VLSI and nanoelectronics. So let's start without wasting time. Okay let's start with vlsi now what do you understand by the term when you listen vlsi there is something called as ssi there is something called as msi lsi vlsi but the current need is ulsi ultra large scale so if i talk about ssi it talks about small scale integration small scale integration right and if i talks about MSI it is medium then comes large very large okay then comes very large and then ultra now why this term what does this terminology means SSI MSI LSI see if the number of transistor or the gates is 10 raised to 2 or I would say 100 on a single chip I call it as SSI if there's 1000 we'll call it as MSI 10,000 we'll call it as large scale and if it more than 10 raised to 7 let's say crude chips and a crude transfer gates and a single chip we call it as VLSI so this is a basic terminology for VLSI it depends so I we will not be for, uh, fabricating or designing crudes or lacks of transistor but I'll make sure that either you design a small circuit, but you should do a very fundamental of it. Okay. So let's begin with VLSI. But why do we need VLSI in our designing aspects? Any answer? Why do we need VLSI? Why do we need to design a chip? What are the needs? See, now to design the chip, there is some important concept that human needs to know. Let's take this example. What do you see in this uh, photograph? You can see an iPhone, right? A very costly iPhone. I would say it's an iPhone XS or XS Max, which I have. So what we should understand from this picture? What is the need of current humanity uh, in the terms of technological communication? What is the need of human? So in the communication, they need phone and then phone, they need some features to it related, right? So what are the features if you talked about this phone the best thing that you know about iPhone is first I would note down its speed that is very fast right so speed is a parameter that what customer wants and that the VLSI design engineer should talks about so they should always talked about speed that my phone should have a very high speed so speed should be high that is an important parameter can we take another parameter what is another parameter power power consumption and many people knows about that we need that the phone should be consuming very less power and should be working for more time so power consumption should be less okay another parameter any another parameter that you know the third parameter is size of circuits inside this phone i would say so it should be very less that means the fabrication of the circuit should be less so that your phone should look slim okay i'm not talking about size of phone i know the current demand is 5.5 inch 6.1 inch 6.5 inch size of a screen but we are talking about size of circuit and size of circuit should be as low as possible so the speed should high power consumption should be low size of circuit should be low any another parameter 
fourth parameter can anyone tell me the fourth parameter and it is very important parameter it is something called as i'll use different color for this it is cost cost should be very less see the demand that customer wants and it is a challenge to vls and microelectronics nanoelectronics engineer to make sure they get better speed lower power consumption size of the circuit should be less or it can be easy reportable easily carryable but the cost should be very very less and there are other parameter too which i have not mentioned i would say time to market if you launch a phone which has all these features after 20 years it will not be of use because we will be advanced in this technologies the time to market is another parameter like if someone if someone launches a phone with a camera and a button keypad now and he say i have developed the technology now technology is increasing rapidly day by day so time is market is another parameter so let's not focus on this right now because we are not an mba guy or graduate but we need to focus on some technicalities that we will be using in our course speed power size of circuit i will not be talking about cost that how much this phone will cost you okay we'll be talking about speed power size of circuit so let's see can we make the system faster can we reduce its power consumption can we reduce the size of the circuit so this will be our aim for studying vlsi so let's move further and let's see what we can study in this course so course flow now how does this course will move i'll give you a pick like three if you understand out of this diagram any concept so see the thing is first comes the system now what does system means any chip or any circuitry that you are wishing to design it can be processor it can be ram it can be memory any system okay that system is divided into small small module okay that module is designed with using some gates okay if you talk about digital circuit that gate can be any like if i talks about memories it can contain clbs if i talk about clb they contain blocks if it is a block they contain gates in it and basically they contain flip flop i would say okay or they contain mugs encoders decoder okay so this is an interesting and then after this comes circuits so we will be if someone understand how to design circuit he can easily design gates then module then system and the basic that the person need to understand is device so which device you are using to design what circuit a uh, task of an engineer is this part so if you can relate this it is an uh, you'll enjoy it that device which device i should use to design which circuit either it be mosfet either is cntfet either is uh, single wall or multi wall or fin fets or double soi or ga i mean we'll be discussing about this all these devices in a later course so which device we should use to design which circuit and once the circuit is designed how we can relate it to the gate how we can design different gates using it and then module and then finally system so our target in the next course will be understanding device so we'll be starting with fundamentals right directly we'll be studying about devices how does devices work how does basically mosfet work we will not be studying bjt right now we'll be studying with mosfet and then we'll be moving towards cmos okay the next lecture will be an interesting lecture it will be dealing with mosfet and our target is to understand mosfet then we'll be moving towards cmos so the next part hope you have understand the course flow so the student will be able or the people with me will be understanding device and then circuit then gates and module and then system so at the end of this course you will be designing a system okay either it be operational amplifier or differential amplifier or ram or memory or flip flop or encoder or decoder whatever you want okay so then let's move further future and research this is an interesting part see as i talked about 
we will be discussing in this course with start of device so i want that everyone should be understand do we have any future in the if i work into device level or research level so yes you have a future if you worked in this uh, device level and you can research in device level too what you should start with first is this part the diagram deal with one something called as nmos and something called as pmos so what does nmos and pmos means to you it makes in combination which we call a uh, cmos i have given a basic of it but this is not the start of cmos you'll enjoy cmos when i entered when you entered into this course so cmos and another topic that we will be targeting okay after cmos current the next device is is this what do you see it is written something over here as cnt which is carbon nanotubes okay just carbon nanotubes now what does this carbon nanotubes mean see in this both the diagram you will see some terminology source drain gate drain gate source here also you can find source drain but we can't look gate over here in the place of gate or the channel we have cnt so we'll be discussing a little bit about this is the end of this course which is the currently a need and it will be the start for nano electronics so there are something called a single wall carbon nanotubes so if you see some csw cnt fet just remember it is single wall carbon nanotubes fet okay and you can see mw that means multi wall so we'll be studying about the single wall and multi wall in the end of this course okay because it is the start of uh, our future which is nano electronics but there are some transistor that people use rather than cmos or rather than i would say cnt so what transistor the people uses is like intel works on fin fets now what does fin fets means this is also an interesting part you can refer neeraj k ja as an author of a book you can refer for fin fet in detail about it but we will be studying this in the end of this course because you know this are the part or the uh, future of our vlsi when the vlsi ends it begins with nano electronics so we will be discussing about this there are other transistor as well if you want i can suggest you there is something called as oh, this is not visible this is something called as gate all around transistor bulk soi another part or another advancement in S, uh, soi full depletion soi or semi depletion soi and there is oh uh, there is something you should try it is double gate or tri gate the double gate mosfet or tri gate mosfet this is also another technology that people are still working on so this are the future and research part of devices i am not talking about circuits so during the course of journey of this course you will be studying about how you can study about future and research and circuits level also so that's it from my side um if you want you can ask me doubt related to it come okay that's it from my side thanks a lot for be with me hope you have subscribed this channel and like the video and if you have any doubt do comment if you want to motivate me do comment share this video make the people aware that there is a course has been started in the channel of learn with fun by zara so it will be a hands on session that you will be using some different simulation tool and will be working with some different simulation tool to enhance our knowledge in the field of vlsi microelectronics and nanoelectronics that's it from my side thank you enjoy learning and be with me in this journey of course called vlsi and nanoelectronics thanks a lot and please 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 watch till end with me this course okay bye guys